بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته As the world faces one of the greatest catastrophes in recent times this pandemic of COVID-19 there's been much talk about the teachings of Islam and how the wisdom behind many of the ahkam, the rulings and the legislations and the laws of Islam, which were sent more than 1400 years ago, how they are coming to light today in a time when we think that we are so advanced medically and scientifically. And so it's unfortunate that many Muslims today, we put our trust in secular, man-made laws, thinking that, you know what, these laws are sufficient in governing us, while ignoring the laws and the legislations that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent to us. How can you ignore the laws that have been made by the Creator when He only made these laws because He knows us better than our own selves? And so He knows what is in our own interests. He knows what is beneficial for us and what is not beneficial for us. And so when we look at the current pandemic and observe the laws and the legislations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that are related to this catastrophe, it builds yaqeen, certainty, conviction in the Muslim that you know what? This is indeed the truth from the creator of the worlds. And so it brings joy to your heart knowing that you are following the religion of the truth and it kills the doubts and the accusations that the enemies of Islam try to spread about Islam. And so over the next several videos, we'll be looking at some of the teachings and the legislations of Islam and the wisdom behind them and how if we were to implement these teachings and apply these laws at both the uh, individual level as well as the societal level, uh, such pandemics and such catastrophes would never have even occurred. And after they have occurred, if they have occurred, then it would have been easy to control them. And, you know, the impact would not have been as great if we were to, if we were to implement these ahkam and these laws and these legislations of Islam. And so I conclude by saying that this is one of the proofs for the fact that Islam is the truth from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This in and of itself proves that Islam is the truth from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because no other religion, no other uh, system no other philosophy has a comprehensive, well thought out, well organized law system than we have in Islam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He told us that He will continue to show His ayat, His signs, His proofs that indeed this Qur'an is the truth from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is an example of that. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, سَنُرِيهِمْ آيَاتِنَا فِي الْآفَاقِ وَفِي أَنفُسِهِمْ that we will show them our ayat in the horizons and in themselves. And so we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Grant us this yaqeen 
this certainty, this conviction in our hearts that Islam is indeed the truth from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep all of us safe and sound during these very, very difficult times. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.